for many years, I dreamed of celebrating Passover in the holy city of Jerusalem. It's a long dusty trip from my home in Cyrene, nearly 40 miles. Oh, when I finally got there, it was so exciting to be in Jerusalem. Big, bustling city. I was tired from the journey, but I still went out, walked the streets. I was so excited. But after a long, lovely day wandering around, oh, well, I was tired. On my way back, I got swept up in a big crowd. I was a bit disorientated at first, but suddenly caught a glimpse of three men carrying a huge beam of wood struggling down the road. They were being pushed along by several Roman soldiers carrying whips. What I was watching was, without a doubt, a terrible Roman crucifixion. One of the three stood out. He had a woven band of thorns shoved down on his head, like a cruel joke of a crown. Listening to the crowd, I realised that they were calling this man Jesus. Why don't you save yourself, Jesus? One shouted. Another yelled, where's your power gone now? I quickly realised that this must have been the man my host had been talking about. Last night, this Jesus, this supposed Messiah. So this is where the proceedings of last night had led. These Romans don't mess about. I couldn't help but feel pity for this man. Could this kind of punishment really be deserved? I was transfixed, gruesome as it was. There was something about this man. At times he would look into the eyes of members of the crowd as if to say, for you. He kept stumbling. He seemed so weak. And then suddenly, right in front of me, he fell to the ground. There was uh, a bit of a blur, you know. You! Help this man carry his cross! At first, I, I tried to resist, explaining I was a tourist, but it's no use. I was told to lift the large beam of wood. And Jesus had been carrying it on his shoulders. Together, Jesus and I carried the wooden cross up to the place I quickly realized was Golgotha, the place of the skull. As we struggled up the hill, I looked over at Jesus. And what I saw in that glance changed me forever. Through the intense pain, I saw a look of complete love and forgiveness. It penetrated me like a knife to the heart. It was a gaze I did not want to break or forget. When we reached the hill, I watched as Jesus was hoisted up to die. I watched as the Roman soldiers gambled for the few items Jesus would leave in this world. I watched as, as Jesus breathed out, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Uh, I'd come to Jerusalem to take part in the sacrifice of a lamb for the Passover. Instead, I was taking part in the sacrifice of the completely innocent man. Uh, Passover was a bit of a non-event after that. Hard to move on. So, now I'm heading home.
But it's weird. I just get this feeling that Jis's legacy will be more than just a death. There's a sense of hope in the air.